Hey booktube, it's Charlie from Reader Turned Writer and today I wanted to tell about how books played a role in my love story with my husband. So this video is a little more personal so I don't know what to think about that but it was just an idea I had that might be kind of fun because books did play quite a bit of a role in the story between my husband and I. I met my husband November of 2010 we actually met like four years before that, but I was 14 and he was 18 at the time and neither of us really remember each other. We both remember being at the same event, but we don't really remember each other and so we don't really count that because we don't, we don't remember. So, but we do count the November 2010. My, his mom and my aunt were roommates in college and their families kind of stayed in touch and would visit each other because we live about three hours apart. My cousin was just is just a month apart from me and I was really good friends with him and he had a birthday party and my husband Benjamin just got home from his mission and was out at college and decided to go to the birthday party and I went but I was super late because I had to babysit and so I showed up after almost everybody else had gone home except for Ben and a couple of other people and I had d didn't remember Ben at all and so I saw him and I was like who is that you know how does Jeremy have a friend that looks so good looking. They were like playing some sort of game and because of the game Ben was standing up at the front of the room and our eyes kind of caught and we both like felt something but looked away really fast and didn't really get to talk the rest of the night. Ben wanted to ask me out but I was still 17 for another month so he actually waited until January of 2011 to ask me out and that's when we had our first date and we made sock puppets and then w with food coloring and yarn and stuff and then Jeremy, my cousin, and Ben actually, it was a double date, they put on a puppet show for the girls and they did green eggs and ham and that's the puppet show that they put on <laughs> and it was very very cute and there were sparks and everything between my husband and I but he was also kind of interested in another girl and I was still in high school at the time he, while well, he was out of college. While he was out of college he went to school about an hour away from where I was currently living at the time and he wanted to see me more often so he came up with an excuse to see me and he bought me a gift and uh, my cousin told me that he just wanted to see me and that's why he got me the gift so I was really excited and when he gave it to me it was The Alliance by Gerald Lund. This is his favorite book and he kept buying new copies of it and then giving it away because well, lending it to people and losing it basically. So it was kind of fun because he gave it to me and he he wrote this little note in it which was just kind of a cute little thing and um, he gave it to me and then we got married so then now he has a copy of the book that he can never get rid of because it has that. And then after we married I actually went and got it signed by Gerald Lund for him for a Christmas present when we had very little money as newlyweds. During that time we also had this inside joke about dragons and so I actually made him some children's books, just handmade children's books out of the inside joke of dragons. We were both dragons in the story and it was kind of silly. And then we officially started exclusively dating a year later, January 2012. At this point we both really were in love with each other and we knew it and so we started dating and it was wonderful except for that we were very long distance. I was going to school in Orem, Utah and he was going to school in Ogden, Utah so we were pretty far from each other. Uh, while we were dating we watched Avatar a lot together and I know that's not exactly a book thing but I bet a lot of you on booktube will really appreciate that. He introduced me to Avatar and we watched like the whole thing together. Um, we also shared a very big love of Brandon Sanderson books and would read them and listen to them together and talk about them all the time. And we also went on bookstore dates all the time because we loved to go to Barnes & Noble and look at the books. And we were poor college students so we never actually bought any but we loved to go and look. Six months later, June of 2012, we actually broke up because we were at the point in our relationship where we felt like we needed to either move forward and get married or break up and Ben was not ready to get married not just to me but to anybody and we both needed to grow up a little bit. A little while later we actually started talking again but I had a mission call for my church and I was leaving in April of the next year and so we didn't really get back together, we just started talking again. 
when we were talking, a, a big emphasis was on writing and books and reading. He discovered NaNoWriMo during that time, and we both kind of got going on writing and sharing our writing with each other. We'd also just read and talk about books a lot during that time. And then I actually wrote like a memoir type thing about when I broke up with Ben, um, because it was very, very hard because I was in love with him and I didn't want to break up, I wanted to get married to him and so it was a really difficult thing for me so, but I felt like I handled it very well and was able to work through it well and I wrote a memoir about it and when I finished it, Ben wanted to read it, he didn't know what it was about but I'd been telling him that I was writing something and he'd been sharing everything he was writing with me so I sent it to him and I was so, so nervous because it was like all about him and how much I loved him still and stuff. But he said that when he read it, he fell in love with me all over again and he actually asked me to marry him then and he said that if I wanted to go on a mission still that he would wait for me but that if I wanted to stay home he'd rather that and that we get married and I ended up staying home. I was supposed to leave April 3rd and we got married April 20th and it was the best thing that could have ever happened to me because I was so in love with him and I'm still so happy that I get to be with him because he is one of the best men that I know. But the book that I wrote, the memoir that I wrote, is one of the main reasons that we ended up getting married when we did. And that is so cool to me. While we were engaged, we listened to books together. I remember listening to things like A Tale of Two City and just different things in the car and continuing to talk about books and writing and different things. And we got married April 20th of 2013. We actually listened to an audiobook on our honeymoon as we were traveling in the car and the plane and stuff. It was like called Bloodlines, maybe? It was like a vampire book. It was funny that we listened to it on our honeymoon. And then we actually watched Avatar Korra. Um, we watched the first season of that on our honeymoon as well, so that was funny. After we were married, I actually started reading Twilight aloud to him because it was the only way that I was going to get him to read it, but I, we never actually finished it, but it was so funny to me that he let me read Twilight aloud to him. And we went on a ton of bookstore dates. We'd go to a local thrift shop or to Barnes & Noble and we'd almost always end up buying a book even though we still had no money. But we'd each choose a book and we'd buy it and take it home. We went to a lot of Brandon Sanderson book signings as well because we lived near a bookstore where Brandon Sanderson did a lot of book signings and that was a really fun date. We'd get to go do that because we both loved Brandon Sanderson so much and he felt like such a big part of our relationship because it was a very common shared interest all throughout. We still do and did uh, enjoy reading marketing books, and the same marketing books and then talking about them. We both really enjoy marketing and, and those kinds of things, entrepreneurs, um, entrepreneurial things. We still have books as a huge part of our lives. We listen to audiobooks a lot together. Right now we're reading uh, The Shadow of Something Lost or something like that, but we're listening to it right now. We especially listen to books while we're traveling. We read to our kids all the time. Ben reads to our kids all the time, which I know is like a really good thing. It's really good for kids to hear their dads reading to them and to see their dads reading, so I love that he reads. and. We're able to to share a love of books together and that is one of the coolest things to me. I'm so grateful for my husband and for our journey together and for for the role that books and literature and words have played in our journey together and I don't think without that that we would still be together today and so I'm so grateful for that and I don't really know what this uh, video turned into but I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching it. Let me know if you have a relationship where books played a big part in it, whether it's with a friend or a spouse or boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever. Let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the next video.